The Somali coast, near the Gulf of Arden. NATO is carrying out maritime surveillance to protect ships from attacks by Somali pirates. Suspicious activities are reported. A commercial vessel makes a distress signal. The Alliance Ground Surveillance, or AGS, program is operating. It provides detailed mapping of the situation. There's a typical uh, indication of a pirate attack, and you saw the line going ahead, which could have been the mothership. What we know having is a, uh, all of this data goes down to, through the ground segment to the military commanders, and have just tasked a US destroyer to go and investigate, to, in, to intercept the uh, possibly hijacked ship. A fictitious scenario, but this simulation makes the role of AGS clear. The system comprises high-altitude, long-endurance, unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs, supported by ground capabilities. It can monitor and analyze data almost in real time. Okay, I have us on a heading of uh, 204. See the red box, which is the indication of uh, the area that we're observing at all times from the radar, so for the movement. But uh, that indicates what the radar is looking at. All these dots, you see purple and yellow, they are represent detections where we see some traffic. Be a very big contributor to keeping track of uh, what is floating on the sea, what, who is going where, who came from where, who is going where. We will keep uh, track of the surrounding uh, land areas, but we will complement all the maritime patrol aircraft, all the other assets out there, to provide NATO with a better picture of what is going on overall. NATO is to possess its own unmanned aerial vehicles, the Global Hawk Block 40, each carrying a radar that weighs a tonne and a half. This will allow NATO an accurate view of the situation before, during and after the operation. The radar that will be on this UAV uh, will provide a ground maritime or ground moving target indication. It's a tracking of moving vehicles on the ground, uh, some maritime capability of tracking maritime targets as well as, as a synthetic aperture radar, which will be basically a snapshot in time uh, in order to be able to detect changes in the environment. Using this system, the air vehicle can cooperate with other units in operation. There are other uh, airborne assets that will send data down to the ground to the, uh, to the AGS ground, sec uh, ground station. Uh, to the main operating, set, uh, main operating center uh, for exploiting data. Um, this UAV can send data through the SATCOM to other ground stations as well, other national assets. The range of the unmanned aerial vehicle can be as much as 16,000 kilometers. Operators are already being trained. These UAVs will soon be helping to protect civilians and support the military efforts in theatres of operation, as here in this simulation of a border surveillance mission. This is a NATO Channel report.